relax. Oh, relax. Hi, Louis. How you going? Bonjour. How are you? Sweet, bruv. Yeah, all good. <laughs> Look at your script. <laughs> now, firstly, I want to thank you for welcoming me to the Saints. They were really welcoming and really enjoying my time. Um, you'll be part of that as well. Yep. And so I'm going to interview you today ahead of our London clash on, on Sunday. Sweet. Uh, firstly, you've been on the sidelines um, due to injury. How's the recovery uh, been going? Yeah, no, good. Uh, five weeks out. Uh, hurt my knee. Got a bad boo boo on my knee. So I was out for five weeks. Yeah. Uh, so I had a lot of uh, rehab and uh, stuff to do with Matty and uh, Ryan, our physios. Uh, but yeah, all back now, all good. Stronger, faster, better looking. Oh. Nice, looking at too. Um, obviously being a, out that long, was it frustrating watching the boys play and obviously winning every week? Oh, it's always, like... yeah, it's always frustrating when, when you're not playing because you, you do get frustrated because you want to be out on the field helping the boys. But obviously they, they won every game, so they've done well. So, so they didn't need me. <laughs> you know, we missed you, mate. Um, you made a successful return against Wakefield on the on the weekend and won to the semi-final of the Challenge Cup. How pleasing was that for for yourself and to get the result? Oh, fantastic! Obviously, Challenge Cups mean so much to the club and 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 the boys. Uh, I think if we can get a good run in that, then, then it's all good. But it was great to be back on the field and obviously do my part to get us into the semis. Nice. Um, now that we are through to the semi-final for the Challenge Cup, you must be pretty happy, um, exciting times. Yeah, exciting times, yeah. I think uh, obviously uh, last year's semi-final was a bit disappointing, so hopefully uh, this year this year's one we can uh, kick on uh, and go all the way to Wembley this year and bring back the trophy for the fans and, uh, and, for, and for all the boys. That's the one. Um, Next up is our trip down to London, your yeah. hometown. You must be looking forward to this one. Yeah, no, yeah, I am, yeah. I can't wait. Uh, people have been ringing me asking for tickets. I've told <laughs> them no, you have to buy them. Uh, <laughs> uh, so swipe up for that, no, I'm joking. Um, but no, no, it's, it's great oh, to go back to, obviously, where I started my rugby league. Yeah. It was fantastic, and obviously, they're, they're in the Super League and they're doing well at the moment. Hopefully, they can do better and stay up. Uh, and and push on, but obviously not this week. Hopefully we come over the two points, but can't wait really. Yes. So you spent four years over in London. Do you have any, many friends there, or do you keep in touch with anyone still? No, nah, no one likes me over there. Really? So like, nah, <laughs> nah, no, I believe. Nah, they're all there. No, I'm, uh, I'm good friends with the with the coach Danny Ward. Right. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I keep in touch with uh, Danny Ward. There's a couple uh, a couple of the boys obviously that have retired now and all that gone that I keep in contact with, but. Uh, it's all changed down there now, really. It's all like the young kids that are coming through when uh, when I left to come to the to sunny St. Helens, really. So uh, didn't really see them. Didn't really get enough time to uh, stamp my uh, authority on them. Yeah. <laughs> London have had some big wins this season. Um, Wigan, Wakefield, and Leeds. Uh, we will need to be fully focused on Sunday, won't we? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think uh, London are a good team, especially at home. I think uh, you, you can catch some people out. Really, go travelling down there and staying at a hotel. Uh, but I've, I've done that. I've done that with them and with Saints when they were in Super League last time. So I know what's coming. But it's, it's just you have to be switched on with them because they are they're a team that goes to the full 80. So uh, it'll be a good test for us to go down there and hopefully we can we can come away with the two points and carry on the uh, getting more points on the ladder so we get that bigger gap. That's it. <laughs> and um, we'll be playing on the artificial pitch. Do you like playing on that surface? I feel fast on it, but then I look at the video and look really slow, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Louis, as a team, we are playing well at the moment. You've been at the club for a while, but are you confident we can achieve success this season? Uh, yeah, I'm utmost confident that we can uh, we can uh, do success this year, because uh, I think we've got a, just a tremendous group of lads, I think, that are pushing and pulling for each other. So uh, I think that we can we can we can uh, reach greatness this year. I think I think that's that's what we got. I think if we all believe and we all push the way that we're going, I think we we all can. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, Louis, and uh, good luck for the rest of the Sweet, season. Sweet, brother. Sweet. Good boy. Nice, good interview. Let's go. Adios. That was too good. That was like Delhi Ali. Delhi Ali. Where's the food this way? Uh, we get out of it. Yeah, that one. No, that one. Level two. Stop filming me because I don't know where I'm going. Ha, ha, ha.